Imagine if we could teach a history class in ancient Rome. Or what if we could bring students to any museum in the world in a matter of seconds? This ability might be closer than you think. The concept of virtual reality has been around for decades, but it's only recently that the technology has improved to the point where virtual reality is becoming a reality. Many large tech companies are currently heavily investing in the development of virtual reality technologies such as headsets and software. For instance, this past year, Facebook acquired the virtual reality company Oculus for $2 billion. With this in mind, it is only a matter of time before virtual reality will revolutionize how we experience entertainment through video games, movies, and exploring new environments. But I believe that one of the most practical and currently unexplored uses of virtual reality will be in education. As a computer science teaching assistant for the past three years, I've enjoyed introducing people to programming. In this time, I've noticed that new students tend to struggle with a number of abstract concepts. In thinking about how we might be able to teach these concepts in a different and perhaps more effective way, I realized that virtual reality provided a practical and increasingly viable solution. At first, learning the program can be a difficult task filled with abstract concepts that can be hard to relate to. But what if, we, what if the code we write could modify the world around us? What if we could see the effects of the programs we write instantly on our surroundings? The concepts suddenly become more real, more concrete. So based on this idea, I set out to create a virtual reality programming environment. In my environment, users find themselves in a room filled with objects of different shapes and sizes. Once there, users can create new objects or modify existing objects using their basic programming skills. If a user wants to learn more information about an object, they can physically look at it, and information will come up such as its name, its type, position in the world, and other attributes. Along with this, users are permitted to make changes to their code at any time that are immediately reflected in the environment. If a user wants to see what effect slightly modifying a line of code will have, they can simply do it and see the result of their action. For example, if you wanted to change one of the cubes, you can simply look at it, see its name, and write a line of code like C dot change color blue. Instantly, that cube would change to reflect their addition to the program. Uh, it is, so along with this, so, uh, so it's my hope that this sort of completely interactive and immersive environment will be helpful to those students just starting out in computer science. Uh, what <laughs> so I hope that this will help students just starting out in computer science. Virtual reality has the potential to be used as a tool for teaching, not just in computer science, but teaching as a whole. And I hope that my project demonstrates this capability. Virtual reality is limited only by the creativity of those developing for it, and through it with a chance to change how we think about learning. The possibilities are endless. Thank you.